apologizing because she drugged me. That bitch sit up there. She drugged you. Talked about how, how your dick was little. Talked about how she giving out your telephone number. Talked about how you dumb. Every chance that I call dumb. And because she coming over there saying, Daddy keys. You breaking your neck. To get this bitch off a three day block. I've been blocked for seven days. And she ain't bringing you not a dime. So I ain't over there making not nothing. Start not making not a coin. Only thing start doing is all the money we be making on her to get her page out. Trina B say, Brandon, can you get my page out? You told this man $400. You up here trying to pimp us for your trick money to get your dick jagged off. You up here trying to trick us $400? He told me $250. Then I went and I talked to my cousin, and dude say, look, I get a page out for $100. Postmaster, she take her VIP points and do it for free. Trina B just got her page on there. $60. And you around here trying to sell VIP points for $400? Bread for a nigga like you with so much money. You so money hungry. You on this app trying to pimp people out of beans. You up here trying to pimp people out of money. You up here just scamming everybody. Every other month around the same time. Some woman... And then we find out a day or two later that it's nothing but a story now. Because guess what? They, they, just, they just as dumb as you because they host. They clever, honey. Like the kids ain't missing a meal. They ain't missing a meal. And then soon as y'all scammed out of that money, you come with money. Y'all fits. You tell me that I disrespect my supporters. You sit up there and you disrespect your supporters every possible way that you get. Come on your platform, scam your people out of money, and you sit back and let them do it. You ain't shit. You ain't nothing. You ain't shit. Everybody, everybody from the Keys want to leave your stinking ass. Everybody is tired of you. Every that's by everybody that got to keep behind their name is drunk. No key. You don't even know how to treat your people right. Instead of you treat, you treat it like it's a circus. You would sit there and let them one another. You the only dysfunctional family on this web. Or that you got plan on going to get a nut off of. And I want to tell you, and I'm going to keep telling you this, because God told me, yo... Yo, 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 this right here, you think you on top of the world, honey, you breaking down right now. Everybody think you got a cold. Everybody thinks something wrong with you. No, it's your numbers, your money levels going low, bitch. You said it ain't like it used to be. See, you one of them niggas with money. You start getting money. You one of them niggas. You, you, you panic. That's when the PTSD, you're money hungry. And every day, God is showing you that the way you treat people is to a path. It's coming to a path before your eyes. It's crumbling. 
And the more that you sit up and you make it seem like you don't know what's going on on your panel, that's the more that your supporters are starting to realize that you are a piece of shit. And Brandon, I can't wait to the day till the keys come to a whole crumble. And I'm not praying on your downfall, but you sat there and you prayed on my downfall. You tried to sit there and tell these people how horrible I was, how this and how that and this and this and this. You sat up in there with Ashley and y'all tried to lie on me in my face.
drug you, girl. And you want to come on here and tell me about what, what, what bean counts you got. Just remember, Savannah, when you thought you was making it up on the ladder on the Hollywood, and <laughs> you see how God dropped you back down to a uh, normal reality level, bitch? Don't come to me. I don't care how many beans you get. If you're not doing it from the heart, and if God don't approve of it, you're going to be stuck at an end. You're going to be like one of them old video games. Going around, bumping the wall, bumping the wall, bumping the wall, bumping the wall. So don't come on here telling me about the bean count and this and this and this and that when you're supposed to be a Hollywood diva and you getting your titties done by public game. So with that being said and done, Savannah, you sitting on here with me, with me, an ordinary, ordinary Joe, and you want to sit here and tell me about the beans, bitch. You supposed to be sitting up there with a strong platform, with a strong platform. You supposed to be up there with T. T. Madison or whoever that person is. But you want to come over here and jump down off your platform to come over here and downgrade me, Savannah. Worry about yourself, baby girl. Worry about why why you ain't made it so far with the, with the platform that they gave you and you still sitting over here with me. Want to argue with an ordinary bitch about some beans. Come on with it, Savannah. Come argue with me about some beans, bitch. Come on. Come on, Savannah. Argue with me about Argue with me about these beans, bitch. Uh, First of all, I'm not going to argue about no beans because you talking about somebody doing something for beans over here, bitch. I'll be but you the one that just came on here talking about the beans. You just said you had a million beans, you bitch. You said that. You, you came on here and said about the beans, Savannah. You try to throw the beans in my face, Savannah. You did that. You just said, bitch, bitch, you just said about the beast. But then when I got your ass together and I gathered you, now, now you want to say it's not about the beast. Get your fake ass off my platform, bitch. Now, take that. Hey, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. You give me two minutes? Go ahead. All right, check this out. Like I've been telling y'all since Facebook, this nigga's a motherfucking crook and he been a sham. He wasn't making. Making no money off of the goddamn views or shares on Facebook. The nigga wasn't making no money at all, y'all. And as soon as we got over here, he seen, he seen. Sarah, I don't know what's wrong with your phone. First of all, on Facebook, I was getting paid. I was getting paid commercial breaks and checks. And fuck it, you talking about somebody, um, and they TV, bitch, you was the same one begging for my phone number, asking me how can you get photo shoots and get, um, on reality shows and all that, bitch, you was the same because one. Because I pay homage to like, you, bitch. I pay homage to you. And, and, the, and the thing is, is, though, Savannah, you can't throw up in my face, I'm bitch. I thought you was that bitch. I thought you had a whole good, uh, name that. behind your motherfucking self. I was paying homage to you, bitch, till I started realizing what type of bitch you was. What type of bitch you was? Fuck you been on TV twice, bitch, and you still ain't made it nowhere, huh? So you can't never talk about me, bitch. You been 
Girl, you got that motherfucking cat litter smelling house, bitch. You nasty ass bitch. Cat litter smelling house. Cat litter smelling house. And your bitch, your kidney is your kidney is is paid by Medicaid. It is. It is. It is. It is. And guess what? They gave me a great motherfucking kidney, bitch. They gave me a great. No, 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 look, look, bitch. That's what you not gonna do, bitch. That's what you not gonna do. I went 17 years on dialysis, bitch. And when they gave me a kidney, soon as they put that motherfucker up in me, bitch, it kicked right on in. But see, the difference is between me and you, uh, Savannah, I work. I'm not on public aid, bitch. I get Red Cross and Blue Shield. I worked. I had a 4-OK plan, bitch. I worked at Kellogg. I was a, uh, a, forklift, a forklift driver. And I also was a machine operator. So with that being said and done, see it's a difference. It's levels to this shit, Savannah. I didn't go to Davida. I went to the I went to uh Facilius. Facilius one of the top notch clinics that they got for dialysis, bitch. When I got my kidney, I got it done at the University of Chicago. When I got my kidney, I didn't have to get back on dialysis and get uh, get uh, dialysis until the kidney kick in. My kidney kick right on motherfucking in. And every time I go to the doctor, guess what the doctor say? Your kidney doing wonderful, bitch. Your kidney doing wonderful. Wonderful. And you can't throw up in my face that I asked you what Savannah this is Savannah that. How do I get this and how do I get that? I paid homage. But when I realized that you wasn't the bitch that you thought you was, and then when I found out that you didn't pay for your titties, you didn't do nothing, that public aid gave it to you. Then I stopped looking for you. When you sat on here and you came talking about the beans, you did that. You came on here talking about the beans. You said, at least I got folks on the beans. Then when I got you together with that, now it's not about the beans. So that you can't really sit here and tell me out, out your mouth that uh, Facebook paid you to come on there and pull your penis out and dance and, and, and OD on live and say, boo up, boo up, cocky out, cocky out. They paid you to do that. Honey, if they paid you to do that, your page was on block every time you did it, bitch. Every time you went on Facebook, you telling me that they let a coco sit there and snort cocaine, jag they meat, get butt naked. They paid you for that. You a lie. You a lie and the truth ain't in you. You are a lie. You are a liability, honey. They didn't pay you to do not a commercial break. They didn't pay you to do shit. You are a liar, honey. You are a liar. You are a liar. If they paid you, why you didn't come on there and act like the way you acting on here? That's how I know you didn't get not a dollar while you was on Facebook. Because you're getting a dollar over here. We ain't once seen you snort a, a bag. We ain't once seen you get naked on here. We ain't once seen you do nothing. So don't lie. You wasn't getting paid for shit. Nothing. You was getting nothing but the views like the rest of us. So with that being said and done, take your lying ass somewhere else, Savannah. You are a liar. All right, all right. Listen, Pocket, check this out. These fucking hoe ass niggas. Weezy came over to Brandon Please one day, and he figured it out. He was like, since it's going to be a new season, this is what he going to do. He gonna tell all the new hosts it's forty thousand beans for your first for your first two months of hosting, and it's really in the third that you do the forty thousand. Them niggas, every time a host make their quota, every time they make their beans, the recruiter gets paid. Them niggas, Brandon Keys and that nigga, uh, what's that nigga name, Weezy? They been running around telling people. That they don't get paid, they ain't making no money off of y'all, and they making money off of y'all, fam. I know. Them niggas be lying like they giving people opportunities, and they really not. Them niggas sat up and lied about that 40,000 beans. I get, that's $800. All them broke-ass niggas on keys to the please ain't making no $800 a month to cover that shit. Got them niggas out there working harder than a motherfucker, you know what I'm talking about? So the thing is... If you ain't keys to the fleas, you better motherfucker stop play, uh, falling into that bullshit 
Cause them niggas getting paid double off your stupid ass, you fucking idiots. Them niggas out here lying to you anyway. Niggas, 10,000 beans for the first two months, 40,000 for the uh, third month, man. Fuck these, nigga, and Brandon Fleet. Bubblehead ass nigga. I blow baked potato built ass nigga. That's why your bottom row of teeth nigga look like. <laughs>
Get out the lead. That's Brandon type. A easy bitch. Somebody easy. Hey, boo. Hey, I think he was he was having a conversation with you when you were saying like everybody leaving keys. He wasn't saying leaving your life. He was saying he leaving keys as well. Oh. Understood what the fuck you said because I had read the I read the comment. I'm like, oh, he agreeing with her. Oh, and you just kicking Pete, kicked him. I'm sorry, he I was got you. Leaving keys too for that very reason. He was agreeing with you. I'm sorry. Oh. I'm sorry. Look, we gotta be more careful, baby. You gotta be more careful. I do. Y'all know <laughs> when I get back on another page. When I get on the road, yeah. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> You know what it is, baby? I don't know your motherfucking ass. No way. I'm sorry. Now, you know what it is, babe? I'm going to tell you what it is, babe. You need somebody to show you some love. That's all, babe. You ain't got no love, babe. That's it. You ain't got no love. You know what I mean? What the hell is you talking little about? Little love. It's right here. You see that love? I'm showing a little love. Oh, That's what I'm talking about. Oh, thank you. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, yeah, a little love. Look, I apologize, y'all. Y'all know when when I get on the road and, and I see them key symbols, they all y'all got to think about it. I have been attacked by the keys. So when they sit right, in my comment right. section and I, I don't understand what they saying, I be thinking they be attacking me. And it's nothing personal, but it has happened to me a lot with them. Right, so to keep down the bullshit with they ass, you just like, you know what, fuck you, fuck your comment. Right. <laughs> what you saying? I get what you Wait, hold on, who you got a problem with, the kids? No, keys. Oh, keys. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm smoking this good motherfucking dope right now, and I'm just vibing. Okay. It's cold in Chicago right now, it said, it said you was from Chicago. Yeah, it is, it is, it is. It's supposed to be 60 degrees outside today. I'm like, I'm barbecue. 60 degrees? That's hot. Yeah, it's supposed to be warm today. I mean, that's cold. That's no, not for Chicago. We hit the winter time. We got below zero here. Right. Below 60 degrees. That's, that's the nicest day this year. Okay, yeah, so 60, 60 degrees would be a picnic day for y'all. Yeah, right. We barbecue in the day. You fucking mean? You was in Miami? Degrees. 60 degrees then we got on jackets. Yeah. And the only thing that I'm trying to tell the rest of these, the rest of these entertainers that I know originally that came with me, a lot of people like Cortez was asking me like, so is the show for, the show was made for us? To be honest, I made the show to prove a point that you can get numbers and you still can promote other people. It's not about hate. The only thing I'm trying to teach people is if we work together, if we work at one accord, we we'll all be great. But they not understanding right. it. <laughs> That'll never happen. I mean, it's, it had never happened because of the Jim Crow law, but that's a different story some, for it. Some, some, I mean, some people know that, you know what I'm saying, you know, if you get on all one accord, you know what I'm saying, we could be great people out here. We could, oh, you know what I'm saying, we was once the superior people, you feel me, you know what I'm yeah. saying, but we was weak. the way they got this shit, look, the way they got us divided, and they got people, you know what I'm saying, what I noticed, black people, go any other race, I learned this shit when I was in jail, right, you know what I learned when I was in jail. Okay, you got a black man, he did a crime or whatever, and he got caught for it, but they didn't, they didn't get his money. Uh -huh. He had money put up, saved, right? Uh -huh. Then you had, Bean Pie Mike, do you have Corona? No, he got the weed in his lungs, girl. I ain't know what I'm saying. Motherf hey, motherfuckers like that, that's who God go get a Corona to. But uh, anyway, like I was saying, Black man in that boy, he full, now commissary full, he got 10,000, whatever, saying, okay. Another black man coming that bitch, he ain't got nothing, bro. The dude that got all the money, he eating his little commissary, you know what I'm saying? You smelling that shit, smell good, don't offer you nothing. Mexican, Mexican coming that boy, got a little money, you know what I'm saying? Other Mexican coming that bitch, ain't got no money. Now, as soon as he walked through the unit, all the, all the Mexicans who don't even know him, yeah, 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 yeah. one Mexican gave him five suits, the other Mexican going over, bought him three suits, the other Mexican, you know what I'm saying, bought him some chips, you know what I'm saying, before he know he got a whole bag. 
you looking over there to the left, your brother, Big Sack, he ain't even give you not one noodle. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? You know, so. I agree. I agree. And I just wish, I just wish that my people will wake up. Y'all, let me tell you something. I was in Keys yesterday, right? And, and a white Caucasian lady called me a monkey. You was where? I was over there in my founder's lives. And I'm sitting there oh. minding my business. This white lady came in there and called me a monkey because I blocked her off of my life. Yeah, but I'm telling you this, though. She would never say that shit to your face, though. That I do know. <laughs> that I do know. So, I don't even let that shit you, She knows she would have never said it to your face, though. I bet you that. Thank you. Thank you. The drug I had in that motherfucker. I would have slapped five from her. I know you would, that's what I'm saying. I know you would have. When you look at people like that, do you look at them and know they won't say it? That I'm a racist person because I have never sat there and called her a white bee. I never sat there. And to be honest, my, my Caucasian supporters love me. I'm not racist. I don't talk down on color. When I say I want to have a women empowerment retreat, I say women of all color. I'm not racist. Right. Me either. Women know, women know that once they get in the bed. They know I ain't racist. Baby Bell. Oh, but I ain't racist, though. No. I love it. And, and, and not to be no yeah. shade. Hey. Not to be shade. I don't know. But to be honest, I went you to school be. with all white people. You must, well, I stayed in an all-white neighborhood. It's probably just like three black people in, in the neighborhood that my grandma stayed in, so I know what it's like. But you must be very popular since I've been in your fucking line. People are following me left and fucking right. Uh-huh. Yeah, because I always promote my followers. Anybody that get in the box, I tell them, follow these people. That's what That's what I do. Boy, they motherfucker were following left and right. That's good. Thank you, ladies. Y'all making me hey, y'all making me feel like the new kid on the block again. God damn. <laughs> Don't nobody want to hear Don't nobody hey. want you. Don't get fooled. Better follow. You just in God damn. Why you wait? You know what I'm saying? Why I gotta be? See what I'm saying? They're the type of women I don't deal with, man. You know what I mean? Don't know because nobody wants you. They want to hurt. Don't How you know what people want to do? do? Cam up. Can you cam up real quick? Can you cam up? I already know your type. Can you cam up? Let me see who you is. Who's talking? Nah. You can look uh, at I know. I know. I know. Don't worry. Okay. Don't worry. You ain't got to say no more to me. I got pictures on my profile. No, nah, down there. I'm going to see you. I'm going to see what you're looking like with the filter off. Ah, with my filter off. See me? I got See, me, I ain't got no haircut. I need a haircut. I'll let you see what I look like with a filter on. You need a haircut, you need a shave, you need a toothbrush, you need a bath. Mm -hmm. I see it. Yeah. I don't want this to get out of control. Thank you. I'm just fucking with I'm just going to say I'm just fucking with you. I can't shut my mouth. No, it's okay. Damn. I hung them up because I know how you get with new people. So I hung them up. No disrespect, <laughs> boo. But <laughs> I know her for a while. I don't know how to shut the fuck up. My mouth just keep going yeah. and going. <laughs> a lot of the ladies... On my ad team, they like that, y'all. They so that's why I hung you up. But but yeah, y'all. You know, I just want. And to be honest, I just want. I don't have no problem with Savannah. I love Savannah. I always pay homage to Savannah. But when Savannah come over here and try to damn me and knock me, then that's when I have to get her together. You know. And I'm not getting her together to downplay her or nothing like that. I'm just letting her know. Like, let me vent. Let me have my moment. Let me say what I got to say. I don't want to always argue with about my opinion. Because let me tell y'all something. Everybody has a freedom of speech. Can't nobody tell you what you can and you can't say. You better work your, you have, you have to work your amendments, your rights. And black people have got to the point that they feel like they can tell you what you can and can't say as a grown woman. You can't come over here and tell me how I can say and what how I can feel. Savannah, you can't do that. Can't man one of them do it. Thank you.
Thank you. Because when they when they sit over there and they feel like they don't like something that's going on, you don't never see me jumping in their pews or jumping in their lives telling them, oh, don't say that. Stop talking like that. Like, you can't tell me what to do. I'm a grown woman. I'm a grown woman. And that's why they don't like me because my mouth is real. I tell the truth and I shame the devil and they can't take it. They can't take it. But how long do I have to sit here and be quiet? How long do I have to sit here and be drugged and made a fool of or make a mockery of? When I first came over here, all of them tried their hardest to make me seem like I was the outcast or like I wasn't shit. Then when I start kicking in and showing my talents, then everybody now they hate it. Now I'm a threat. Now they don't want to be bothered. Before I start doing me, before I start doing me, they didn't come check for me. Remember, all of them blocked me off their line. They told me, don't come over here. You can't sit with me. Motherfuckers was arguing with me about the views and the beans, and I was like, wait, what? I don't care. I don't care.
and I don't got no hard feelings. But Keith, you said that. You told me. You said my congregation and me will never support nothing you do. So what I look like supporting the stuff that y'all do? Gonna be a damn fool to me. I don't hate y'all. I just don't want no parts of it. I don't want no parts of it. And I'm woman enough to let y'all know I'm not coming. See, I'm not a sneaky bitch. I don't set people up for failure. God don't bless no mess. And y'all remember that. God don't bless no mess. Okay? So I'm sitting here letting y'all know as a woman that I will not be participating. So y'all can take my name off y'all voters thing because they voting for nothing. Because I won't show up. Matter of fact, that night I just might be asleep or at work. To be honest. And I'm not going to sacrifice my work or my sleep to participate in nothing y'all got going on. Y'all not that important. Brandon Keys, I will not be performing or be attending your war, your war ceremony. I won't be there. I will not be there. You know what I'm going to focus on? I'm going to focus on me. And building my my platform and building my brand and, and, and getting my support system strong again. That's what I'm working on. I'm working towards me. How I used to be. Now, I'm not going to say that if they come over there to my platform, I'm still going to be the type of person to show them love and help them. Because when I help them and, and they think they're getting over, the only thing it's doing is making me go higher and higher and higher and higher. And another thing that I'm not going to do, I'm not doing no more clapbacks. Uh, 21, you can continue to drag me. I did you dirty last night. I will always do you dirty. So you know what? I'm tired of doing you dirty, so I'm going to leave you alone. I'm going to let you be. But let me tell you something. Don't think that you ever going to sit in my box, bitch, and try to talk like you just this top-notch uh, person. 21. Don't you ever think that you going to sit in my box and tell me a be this and a be that when you can't even control your household. And with that being said and done, you ain't even worth me talking about. Your life is in shambles. To a star, you ain't nobody to even even clap at, bitch. You will never be able to sit at the table with me. When I do anything, you are not allowed. Not allowed. Don't ask me for no dollar or two. Don't ask me for $10 or $20 to feed you and Dante, because I'm not giving you shit. And Lord, please forgive me, but I'll give you the number, the 311, to feed you and your baby next time, bitch. Don't ask me for nothing. You just messed up the blessing for your son. Because that tax money you got with your cocaine happy and your weed happy, that money going to be gone before June get here. Probably before then. Don't ask me for nothing. You burning bridges with everybody. With everybody. And side the way that your life is, is, is in shambles too. The way you treat your mother. The way you treat the people in your life. You can't get help from real people that know you. Because you are a dirty, low down, stinking broad. Out there on the internet, 
Bro, make sure when you drag Brandon, make sure you drag him, okay? Drag him. Salam Nazar. jump off. I hope everybody be in the building because we're going to have a great show. Um, I thank y'all for y'all support. I love each and every last one of y'all. I thank y'all. I thank y'all so much. I thank y'all that y'all see what's going on and the jump off going to be banging. Like epic. For real. And all the people that tried to come under me and act like they wanted to be a part of my family and do all of this, all you motherfuckers cleared and, and, and cleared smoke. Now, the jump off be done on the jump off play page. I'm not going to do the jump off on here, honey. I don't, just because everybody around don't mean that I'm going to do something for views. I'm going to do it on a page that's appropriate to do the jump off. You know, I don't want, I don't want to take my platforms and take it to different platforms to do this and do this and do that. Because look, even if it get locked down and I come back, they're going to be excited to see what we got ahead on the jump off. So they'll be back because they know the show was the bomb. All right, y'all. I see y'all later. And King Kelvin, thank you, boo. I got a uh, a thank you uh, uh, thing today for all my supporters that's been that's been sticking. Because at first I was gonna take y'all in the private and let y'all see all that nasty stuff I have, but I can't do that because they don't even want you doing it in the private. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just let y'all come up. And I'm going to do a thank you ceremony, and I'm also going to, like, you know, open up a panel, and I'm going to give y'all some beans to show y'all a token of my love for y'all supporting me, okay? Oh, King Kip. I need some water. My mouth is dry. What's good, Pop? Good morning. Morning. And you I don't have to thank me. I do what I do because, you know what I'm saying? Because I believe in you, you know what I'm saying? I support all the ones I believe in. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, and it's, it's crazy that, you know, some people, you know, get angry, you know, when you, when you support other people. But that's, that's fucked right. up. Like, how you going to tell somebody else how the hell to spend their money? Yeah, because that person believes in their man. That's like, that's, like follow, that's like following me to McDonald's and say, don't get that goddamn Big Mac. The Big Mac ain't good, motherfucker. Well, motherfucker, I think the Big Mac is delicious. Fuck you. Facts. I agree. That's because a person, the person that tells you how to spend your money and who's supporting is because that person feels as though that your pockets is their pockets. See, people are living in fantasy worlds. And how can you, how can you expect for another man to support you when the own nigga that you lay up with won't support you? Exactly. Let's make that make sense. Yeah, yeah that's, that's bullshit. How do you expect more for people that you don't know, but you don't expect for people that you know in real life? Hello, good morning. Hey, Parker. Hey, good morning, Parker. I just want to come and uh, give you a shout out and share some love. Thank I you. know, uh, one time I got kicked out of your room, though. Why? I think it was because I had to. Well, you kicked me out, I think, because I had the key in my name because I got the keys to the street badge. Oh, yeah. And at that time, you was going back and forth with Brandon. Yeah. But I just want to let you know that um, I've been watching all you guys since Facebook or whatever. And I came uh, over here, you know, with everybody, just like we all did. And I just want to tell you that, girl, the jump off is popping. Huh? You are fucking hilarious. I wish you much success, because you are fucking hilarious. You are a real comedian, girl. And, uh, you know, I wish you much love and success. That's all I got to say. And good morning, everybody, in the comments. Good morning. I fuck with everybody. Good Thank morning. Thank you. Thank you, baby. All right. Have a good day, girl. Can't wait to see the jump off. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Bro, bro. Yes,
Yeah, same here. I can't, I can't wait to see that jump off, too. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Y'all gonna make me cry. But, you know what I'm saying? I, I, wish, I wish you nothing but much success, you know what I'm saying, as, as always. But I'm yeah. finna get ready to jump down and let you conclude the show. Thank you, Y'all be knowing how to make me cry. Y'all be knowing, cause I, to be honest, y'all, this, this brings me back to when I first came on Facebook and I had like a hundred views, y'all. I had a, a hundred people that was following me, right? And I always wanted to be Facebook famous. I always wanted to take a platform and take it big, you guys, because all the stuff that I've been through in my life and uh, a lot of people, because I had got sick, you know, I always strive to be better than what people said that I was going to be. So when I end up getting sick, that's when I said, you know what? I love doing comedy. You know, I always been funny. And I asked God, I said, God, what can I do to make my following get built up? And I kid y'all not. That's when I created the, the, the character, Auntie Betty Ann. They started talking about it on the Facebook streets. And then I went into Chicago versus New York. And I was in there acting a fool and doing my thing. And then Lotto asked me to come over there to Room 21, and I did. And then Brandon asked me to come to the Keys, and I did. But you know what I think I did that, that was really messed up that I should have did? Was I should have stayed out the nonsense of the drama. You hear me? I should have stayed focused on my prize and where I was going and, and, and going ahead with what I was supposed to do. Because when I took off and I hit and I went viral, I went viral five times in one week. I should have took that and I should have ran with it. But then I started arguing with Keith. Start arguing with Keith. A lot of the women that was in room 21 that didn't like me, they ganged up with Keith. And the thing is, with them was, they didn't like me. So I was the first person that they was taking down because I was a threat. It was me and John Wayne that the congregation was going for. It was me and John Wayne. Matter of fact, it was me, John Wayne, Mike Good and Garnett. Who the congregation wanted to take down. Okay? Between Garnett, John Wayne, and Mike Good, they was taking us, honey. Then, Garnett, he got tired of it. And Garnett said, fuck it, punky. He said, I, I don't got time. He said, I'm a real street nigga. He said, I would hurt one of them, G. He said, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to log out. And I told Garnett, I said, Garnett, no, don't log out. And you know what my brother told me? Garnett said, punkin'. He said, I'm going to be great. I don't need this. He said, I just come on here just to shoot the shit at times. And when I tell you right now, my brother is traveling, doing battles, doing comedy shows. He got some stuff lined up with, uh... With, uh, what's his name? What's his name right now? The light skin guy. With the, with the pretty eyes. He come from Chicago. Well, Garnett is in California. I don't know if he's there now, but Garnett is making it. Garnett took his platform and Garnett went. And Garnett started messing with Terry, y'all. Garnett started messing with the dude to say, Oh, God, Garnett is living his best motherfucking life. See, when God, got, when God gave you a, 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 a gift, there's nothing or nobody that can take that gift from you. John Wayne did a comedy show. He killed that show. John Wayne went down there. John Wayne worked that stage like he couldn't work that goddamn stage. I think John Wayne is funnier on stage than he is on Facebook. John Wayne... Took that shit and he did his motherfucking thing. And I was proud of him. And I wish John Wayne would stop arguing with these motherfuckers and get his ass up and get out and start. 
doing comedy in these comedy clubs because John Wayne is real funny. Like, you can put John Wayne on the stage and John Wayne will work that shit. And everybody that the congregation see that have talent, they try to destroy them. I'm proud of Mike Good. Mike Good is taking his platform. He's doing his puppet shows. Mike Good is great. My good is still on the internet because they tried to take they tried to take him up out of here. They tried to make him check out and don't come back on the internet. They took me and they took all my pages. They took all my pages and made my pages to the point that I can't even log in. I went viral and look, Boosie shared my videos and did this. And let me tell you who else helped me. Y'all know the guy so poppy. Joe so Poppy, that back page asshole, $20 for the low. Him, he had got booked for Wild and Out. They followed him. Wild and Out producers follow him. When I went and he asked me to come on Instagram and do a rumble stop, Nick Cannon said, Who is she? She's funny. Soon as they found out that Nick Cannon was watching me, guess what the congregation them did? They shut my page down. They shut my page down. They would tear anybody down. Anybody. Now that they think it's a threat to make Keith not succeed. But see, let me tell y'all something, congregation and Keith. It's not about what y'all do. It's not about how y'all do it on the internet. When you got notoriety behind your name, you can sit there and you can destroy everything you want. But when you have a good reputation, that all that's matter. But when you on the internet and you call yourself being funny by bullying, you are never getting nowhere. You can get a, you can get ten thousand beans, ten thousand million beans. You will still be stuck where you at, on the couch, drinking, smoking, because that's it. That's it. <laughs> but do you think you're gonna be booked and busy? You have to do another lawsuit on another comedy show because don't nobody want to be bothered because you're too aggressive. You're too out of control. And let me tell you something. When you're business-wise, they don't want that because you are liability. You are a liability. So you can continue to try to tear people down to get ahead and step on people's heads, but you still going to be stuck at ground zero. Still going to be stuck at ground zero. It's the difference between being funny and bullying. Being funny it's when you crack jokes that's innocent, but it's still funny. When you sit up and you talk about people's health, dead folks and kids, and do fuck shit, you ain't gonna go nowhere. Y'all got to know the difference between having talent and being a clown. And I had to learn that. I had to learn it. 